people into office. They'll backstab you. They'll let you die. And for that reason, you guys want to criminalize us with metal detectors. We'll see you at your house. We'll murder you. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. This video is brought to you by the Wellness Company. Brought to you, to, brought to you by the Wellness Company. Link is uh, twc.health forward slash Tatum. That link is in the description section. I want to tell you real quick about a supplement that I think is absolutely tremendous. We all remember what happened with the with the Fauci ouchie in the in the Wuhan. And with the Wuhan, there's the spike protein that have had long-term effects. And many people are not talking about this, and they should be. So the wellness company came out with it, a tremendous supplement called Spike Support. And this really helps mitigate the spike protein, and it helps you feel better. And many would argue that it helps you recover your energy levels and make you overall feel better than the way people were feeling before they got the Fauci ouchie and all that other crazy stuff. And it, it really doesn't matter, it, even if you were vaccinated or not or whatever the case may be, this supplement has been created and developed to help you feel better. And, uh, and all you got to do is go down here and look at the reviews. There's 900 reviews on this supplement and all of the incredible ingredients here, dandelion root, you got black stevia extract, green tea extract, iris sea moss. I mean, all of these ingredients, and also it's all natural, non-GMO. You can read it out here from the website, and I recommend that you go there. Um, but it gives you all the information you need. But you go down to the review, and this is what is important to me. 900 people did a review on this supplement, and, and 856 people gave it a five-star rating. Go through and read what people are saying. So not only is the facts and research and stuff done here, you can see exactly what's in the supplement. Listen to what other people that have purchased this supplement are saying. To me, that's the cheat code in my opinion. But make sure you get this supplement, try it, give it a try, go, get on the subscription, and make sure you use discount code TATUM and you'll get 15% off at checkout. Links are in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to so get notification anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, I have said this and I've maintained this and I will maintain this to the day that I D.I.E. These people that are pro-Palestine, they 98% of them are pro-Hamas. I don't want to hear nobody say anything different because you're being disingenuous. I have yet to see a person make an argument for Palestine and also simultaneously rejected Hamas is rare. I mean, I went to an event. I had a lady at my event after I said this, the same thing I'm saying now. I said nobody that supports Palestine and say pro-Palestine is, is condemning Hamas. They will never condemn Hamas because they all secretly believe Hamas is doing the right thing. If you are occupying, if you are the genocidal force, then they're justified, to be honest, to liberate themselves, right? So none of these people really believe it. This lady gets up. I did a video on YouTube about it, and it went viral. So this is another sentiment of the violent theology of these people. This woman. Now, I know Primetime Stein gets up in these council meetings, and he says some of the craziest stuff. But he has never said what this woman has said. She should be ashamed of herself, and she received instant karma like never before. But look at them with the little garb on, just straight anti-American devils. Wrote a clip. It's very clear to me as in someone who's been an organizer for the past couple of years that none of you care because you, got, you guys don't care about anything happening in Palestine or any other country where oppression occurs because you don't care. Oppression. Who's the oppressor? The people who fly into your country and, and, and harm innocent people and chop them up and burn them alive and all this stuff? Not the military, but innocent people. Who, who, who's the, okay. About the oppression occurring here. And I understand that you guys are all horrible people, but the thing is, 2,300 people being evicted in the last year, those are votes. And you guys, those are votes to win here in Bakersfield. And while you, you guys parade Gandhi around as a Hindu holiday called Chaitra Navratri it starts off this week, I remind you that these holidays that we practice, that other people in the Global South practice, believe in violent revolution against their oppressors. And I hope one day somebody brings the guillotine and kills all of you motherfuckers. The increased criminal... How insane do you have to be to say that? 
a person that never nobody ever said no to, an entitled, selfish narcissist would not have the social awareness or emotional intelligence to not say anything crazy like that just because you disagree. Realization for no need other than you don't like when people come and hold you guys accountable for introducing ceasefire resolutions because the only escalation in violence has been by you all. And so there's no need to continue. In the last five years I've attended city council meetings, there's never been metal detectors, there's never been more cops. The only reason you're doing it is because people actually don't care if you guys don't like them and they're actually resisting so you want to criminalize them. So regardless of whether you elect people into office, they'll backstab you, they'll let you die, and for that reason, you guys want to criminalize us with metal detectors, we'll see you at your house. We'll murder you. Next speaker, please. Can you put... Come on. Lance, followed by Kev, followed by Valeria. Ms. Patel, Ms. Patel, that was a threat, what you said at the end, and so the officers are going to escort you out and take care of that. <laughs> so she got arrested. <laughs> but the deranged mentality of these people to say stuff like this is insane to me. You, you, you're going to, because people, they're putting metal detectors in place to protect them for people like you, you're going to come to their house and kill them? This is what the leftists feed off of. They feel emboldened because they're minorities that they can just say and do whatever they want to do. It is insane to me that a woman will fix her mouth and her lips to say something like that in, in belief there's no repercussions. But let me tell you what. The reason is because they're wrong. They don't have a great argument. And when somebody don't feed into their mania and they just like, okay, child, finish talking, they get extremely aggravated and they lash out. Talking about guillotine and talking about showing up at these people's houses is absolutely unacceptable. These people could be sorry city council members. I don't know. I don't live in Bakersfield. They could be terrible. But you can't go threatening people's lives. But this is exactly the biggest threat to America. Not MAGA Republicans, not conservative white folks. These entitled Palestine-supporting immigrants who come into this country and don't love America like they claim they do. They don't want to assimilate in America. They want to turn America to whatever crap hole they came from. And if she may be born in America, I don't know. But her sentiment and her theology and her loyalty is somewhere else, clearly. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all on the next one. Tell me if she was wrong or am I wrong. I'm out.